The trend of buying a fixer-upper is making me return to real estate markets. More than 6% of home sales last year were flips, according to a new report from Trulia. That's the highest number in 10 years before the real estate bubble burst in the financial crisis of 2008. Woo! Maybe an omen. I don't think so. When the economists see flipping reach 10-year highs, they start to get a bit concerned about another bubble and crash. Although this time is really different. More flips are value-added improvements that investors are making to the home rather than just speculative investment in flips. Plus, home prices are steadily rising. The price increases in 2016 were the quickest in about three to four years, which gives flippers a possible layer of protection. Flips of lower priced homes can contribute to the first time home buyer inventory, which is a big issue and that alleviates some of that availability while managing affordability. Although most of the flipping reported is among luxury properties that have aged out of style, but if brought current can demand higher prices and create benefit to the market. Flipping can be a risky business. If you have a client or you yourself are getting into flipping homes, do the due diligence. The big ticket items you may not see or show up in an inspection can take all of the profits out of that flip. So buy well, it's always important to do that. Foundation issues, electrical problems, mold, plumbing, roof leaks, etc., all could potentially eat up your expected profits and you could come out short. Real estate is a good way to build long-term wealth. Flipping can bring immediate payoffs and profit, but it's a much larger risk for those that don't know what they're doing and you can really get caught. There are definitely local folks that can be used as a resource. So if you need a referral for advice, give us a call. We'd be happy to help and introduce you to somebody great. Now for minding your own business. Hey, YouTube's on fire, so check it out. Today, let's talk about it and what's happening with the channels. You might wonder what factors affect a video's ranking in a YouTube search. First page videos in the YouTube search results are gonna have a higher click-through rate than the rest of the search result pages. Number one, video relevance is key. A good way to measure the relevance is to count the number of words in the actual video title that match the actual query. For example, say the search query is luxury real estate near Sacramento, and the title of your video is another luxury property east of Sacramento. So, you have a two word match to the query, so it's two out of five words, which equals about 40% relevancy, and the query contains five words. Number two, user engagement. This is the measurement of users' engagement and their interaction and perception of the video. This includes the number of times the video has been viewed, number of comments, and the number of likes. Number three, trust and authority of the video owner. Similar to the way websites are ranked in Google, the trust and authority of the video owner might also affect the video ranking in YouTube. They look at how long the channel has been active, the total channel views, and the total number of subscribers. It's really important, the higher this figure, the more authoritative is the video owner. So like anything else, the more videos you publish, the longer you keep publishing and the more effort you do to bring viewers and subscribers to your channel, the better you're gonna rank. It takes time, it's not a quick return on your investment, but it can definitely be worth it in the long run and in the end. Well, that's it for another edition of the Real Estate Insider Weekly. Thanks for joining us. We really appreciate you watching our videos and we look forward to seeing you next week. Have a great day.